Okay. Hey guys, it's Phantom, and welcome back, or welcome to my channel, for an updated <laughs> video. Um, I filmed a video like this a couple of years ago, where I tell you guys how to install Origin, to install, like, you know, The Sims 4 or anything like that. So, um, yeah, we're here on Origin, well, we're here on Google. And then the first thing you want to do is click download right here. Um, and so, basic. okay, so as I said, I already have Origin installed, but, um, like for anybody, okay, for anyone who, you know, wants to play The Sims, for exactly for anyone who wants to play the sims 4 or install any game that they have you need this app so you just click download right here well for me it's mac and they have it for windows um they don't have it for um linux anymore unfortunately they used to have it for linux but they don't um anymore which I think it's a thing for Windows. And so you click download for me, I have a Mac. And so I would click download for Mac. And then once it downloads, I'm not gonna download it because I already have it. And once it downloads, you um you open it. You open up Origin right here, and this is the app right here. Hang on. I'll show you. I'll show you. And then this is the app right here, open. And so as you guys can see, I have the Sims 3 and the Sims 4 already like pre-installed. So what you want to do to, okay, so also, as I said, um, to install The Sims 4, or how to get your Sim, how to get The Sims 4 on the computer, is you either buy it from Origin, or you buy it, or you buy it at the store. So um, let's just search up Sims 4, for example. Um, as I said, I already have Sims 4, but you can buy all the expansion packs on the Origin website and they give you a code. So, um, hang on. So these are just like all, oops, these are all of, hang on, view all in store. Um, so this is the store here. Um, This is the store, and this is, and these are just the expansion packs. Um, I barely ever, oops, sorry, I barely ever get stuff off of the Origin website, off of the Origin store, because I like physically having everything. So, oops, my God, I don't know how that opened. But, okay, so, if you guys want to, um, okay, so, I own The Sims 4 already, but if you guys want to, you can buy it. And you can buy it off of Origin. Um, so there's a Premier version and there's a Basic version. But what I did was I physically went out and bought all of my Sims games and I installed it on my computer. So um, that's just an example. And so let's see. Um, I have... 
let's see, all the games that I have in my game library. So what you want to do to add a game, okay, so they give you a code, right? They either give you a code in, um, they either give you a code with the game, which is what, um, which is what they did, but I ended up losing the code for The Sims 4. Well, I have a copy with the code in it, but I don't know where it is. So what you want to do to install, um, what you want to do to install your Sims 4 or an expansion pack, for example, um, you can also do like non-origin games. Um, you want to click this button that says redeem product code and then you type in the code. Um, and then you type in the code and, it, and then you click next and it installs. So yeah, it's pretty easy. Um, and then once you open up your game, let me show you guys, hang on. Um, once you open up your game, I'm going to actually switch my sources here. Um, I'm going to switch my sources here and I'm going to open up The Sims 4. So this is The Sims 4. <laughs> it says I played for like 76 hours. Um, then you're going to want to click play. Or, or click this button, um, or click the icon down below. Um, for some people, they play on a map. Uh, for some people, they play on Windows. So, oops, I'm sorry if you can't see that. I apologize. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. But oh geez okay like okay so I'm gonna oops I'm gonna fix I'm gonna fix that real quick so that shows up I'm sorry that it looks the way it does I actually play in windowed capture so it says that it's not responding which is normal for me, um, probably because I have too much stuff installed, it'll open soon. Just be patient. Um, just gotta click on it a few times. Because it's slow. But yeah, um, so I'm just gonna show you, for example, what it looks like. When the game opens, if it opens, I am so sorry. Hang on. So, as you can see, my Sims 4 game is opened, and this is what it looks like. Um, I've had this copy since tw <laughs> I've had this copy since 2016. Um, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, this is what the game looks like when it opens. Um, it also comes with a mods folder. Um, so it also comes with everything. These are just my saves. These are just all my sim saves. And um, the stuff that they're wearing is custom content, which I have to replace. But yeah, that's pretty much it. pretty much it for how to install The Sims 4 on Origin. It's the same for The Sims 3 as well. You just um get your you just get your game and you install and you install it. Um or you buy it off of Origin, which if you don't have if you don't have the um if you don't have the disc version, which makes a lot of sense. Um if you don't have the disc version, which I have the disc version, um, I actually have two disc versions because I forgot the code for the last one. 
and, um, and stuff like that. So you just... Go ahead and, you know, install it. It's very easy. Um, very simple. And then your game, and then it shows up in your game library. For me, I have The Sims 3 and The Sims 4 um, installed. And so, let me show you what it looks like once you're game is installed. Hang on, I'm gonna open up my finder, or, or I'm gonna show you what the folders look like. Hang on. Um, so, if you guys can give me a second. Um, okay, so, your documents folder, for me, well, Your documents folder. Hang on, where is it? Okay, I'm gonna close Origin. Man, I was able to do this before. Okay. I'm gonna, or I'm gonna quit Origin. Then I'm gonna show you what. Um, Oh my gosh. Windows Server. Jeez. Oh my god. Okay. And then you go to your documents. Oops, I'm sorry. I'm like a failure. I'm a failure at this. Um. I'm not a failure. This is just hard sometimes. Oh, Finder. Okay. I got it. So, you go into your Finder if you have a Mac. Um, if you have a Windows, it's something else. I don't play on a Windows PC, so I don't really... I can't really remember. I mean, I know how to, like, make folders and everything, but I can't remember because I don't have a Windows. So, if you have a Mac, this works on any Mac, um, like a MacBook or iMac, this works on any Mac, um, except I don't think it supports Linux anymore. So, okay, so, you have this folder right here right see see the folder here you have this folder called electronic arts and so you click on it and then it brings you to the folders for your game so for me i have both sims 3 and the sims 4 but these are all of the folders and the Sims 4 actually comes with a mods folder. Um, and then you have this resource.cfg package file. Do not get rid of this file. You need this file or your CC and mods will not work in your game. Um, and if anything happens to this mods folder, <laughs> um, the game will respawn a new one. Now... For example, like The Sims 3, for example, as I said before in a previous video that I already did, The Sims 3 does not come with a mods folder. The Sims 3, you have to download a mods folder and it has three files, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get into that because I already did so, basically, let me just go through the Sims 4 folder right here that I have. So, it has all these, um, it has all these little things. 
do not get rid of those. Those are very important. Um, so it has folders. It has the cache folder. That's empty. Um, that's supposed to be in there. So don't get rid of that. And then custom music. I don't really know what that is. Oh, oh, so the custom music folder is just like every single, um, like all the music that is already in the game. It's not like custom content music. And then you have your mods folder. Um, then you have your thumbnail cache folder. Can I get rid of that? Can I get rid of that? Because I don't have it in my game. Sorry, I had like a pregnancy megamog med megamog mod log in my game. And then you have your screenshots folder. So this is where all of your screenshots go. <laughs> As you can see, these are all my screenshots. Um and you have your screenshots folder, which is where all of your screenshots go. You have your recorded videos folder, where all your videos go. Then you have your saves folder. Um, so you have every single save folder, or save file, not save folder. Why is my wicked whims in my saves? Oh, I was wondering where that mod went. Okay. So I'm going to get rid of this mod because I don't even play with Wicked Whims anymore. I thought I got rid of it, but I didn't. So I'm going to get rid of my Wicked Whims mod folder um, that I surprisingly found in my saves and it didn't mess up my game whatsoever, apparently. Um, if you're wondering, that mod is a realistic mod to, you know, for your sims to do things. And so, um, yeah, you have all of your, and then, okay, so you have your tray folder, and that has, all, and that has every single household and blueprint and all, and all that stuff. It's kind of boring. Um, but yeah, like, you have all these folders, do not get rid of these folders. Then you have your video camera states, or whatever that is. I don't really get into the, any of that stuff. But yeah, that's a very simple video on how to install The Sims on your computer. Um, doesn't work for Linux anymore. Um, apparently, I don't think it ever really worked for Linux. But um, yeah, that's basically how to install The Sims 4 on your computer. And it is very easy. Um, there's not really much to get into. Um, I will show you how to install mods on your, um, for your games, for both of your games. Um, I did a video on how to fix mods for The Sims 3, which is just, you know, download the mods folder and everything. So, I'll probably get into that in a different video. But basically, I knew I had to update this video because I had a friend who um, was wondering how to install The Sims 4 for her computer. So I was like, you know what? Why not? So yeah, that's that's it for this little that's it for this video on how to install The Sims 4 for your computer. Um, and I will. See you all in my next video. Bye, guys. Be sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below. And yeah, I'm going to go now.